Amen. Good morning, Church of God. Parang mahina. Good morning po. Amen. Sa lahat po ng gising, pwede ba natin palakpakan ng ating Panginoon? Amen and amen. So it's good to be in the house of God. It's better to be in the house of God than the thousands of elsewhere. Because in God's house, God's presence is here. Amen? Amen and amen. So pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, good morning. Ayan. So today po, it's already July 2. So it's the start of the second half of our year. So are you excited for the second half of this year? Parang walang excited. Ah. Mas excited ata kayo sa laban ni Pacquiao mamaya eh. So ako rin po sana makapanood ako mamaya sa kanyang fight. And siguro later, let's pray for him. But today, I'm excited to preach to you God's word. And today, are you excited to hear God's word? Amen and amen. And ngayon kasi I, I, got, uh, I received a new drive, a new passion from the Lord. Kasi right now, I, I realized, parang isang light bulb sa akin, uh, preaching is leading. So I'm not here just to be here. I'm not just here to share any message. So magaganda yung mga messages na binigay ni Lord and we were able to deliver it here. But this time, for the second half of this year, preaching is leading. And God really had entrusted me to lead this church kung saan gusto tayo papuntahin ng ating Panginoon. So are you excited for God's leading for our church? Amen. I'm excited for God's leading for our church. I'm excited for God's leading for your lives. And may we be closer and closer to God's presence. Amen? Amen and amen. And with that, parang nga po siyang light bulb na na-realize ko. And with this light, so everywhere makikita natin there is light. May light po dito sa loob ng ating sanctuary. When there's darkness, light brings us, it shines. It gives us light. It gives us clarity. So ito po ay magandang energy na nagbibigay ng linaw sa ating buhay. So in the morning, wala man, uh, wala man, di na natin kailangan ng light because the sunlight has a great energy to give us light. For the day. So napakagandang energy na sometimes hindi natin nabibigyan ng pansin, hindi natin na-appreciate, pero ang gandang energy niya po. And not only that, pag itong ilaw po ay bumukas, pag ito po ay bumukas, alam niyo po ba that this light travels so fast, it travels 300,000 kilometers per second. So sobrang bilis po, no? So ang pinakamabilis ko na natakbo sa kotse is 180 kilometers per hour, pero itong... Light na to, itong energy na to, it travels 300,000 kilometers per second. So ganyan siya kabilis at wala pang na-invento ang tao to beat this top speed. And finally, alam niyo po, itong light mo na to, there are no boundaries to this. Kasi pag sumakay tayo ng aeroplano, kahit gaano pa tayo kalayo, we could always see the light sa earth. Ganyan po yung itsura po niyan. Makikita at makikita po natin siya as long as wala pong walls to it. So what a wonderful energy this light is given to us by the Lord. And in relation to that, when we open our Bibles in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, it says here, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So sa ating buhay po pala, there's light in us. Amen po ba dun? Pakisabi sa katabi mo, there's light in you. Ayan. There's light in you. So, yung light po na yan is yung word po ng Painon sa atin. Yung light po na yan, yung presensya ng Painon sa ating mga buhay. And God is telling us, let that light shine. So, for the past months, yan po ang pinag-uusapan natin, sinasabi natin, ini-encourage natin tong congregation nito to send the light. Why? Because you, the light, light is energy. So, pag uh, ginawa po natin tong spiritual with regards to our church, this light, it gives energy to the people around us, to the men around us. It gives hope, it gives peace, it gives love, it gives joy, yung light na nasa loob natin. And not only that, this light that we have, it travels so fast. So, marami pong tao ang nandito sa complex po natin. At kung itong light na to na nasa atin, travels 300 kilometers per second, how fast na maging born na ng ating city. Amen? Amen. And not only that, this light that we have in us, there is no boundaries to it. And yan pong light na yan, God wants that to be you. God wants to do amazing things through you. Amen? Parang ayaw niyo po. Gusto niyo po ba yun? Amen? Para po mas gustuhin pa natin, let's all bow down heads and let us pray. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, we just invite your presence, Lord God, to be in this place. Lord God, we don't want to do this by might nor by power, but only by your Spirit. Holy Spirit, Lord God, move in our midst. Lord God, we just allow you to interfere, Lord God. 
Marami kaming kakulangan sa buhay. Marami kaming pagkakamali, Lord God. But this time, Lord God, it's all because of your grace. That's why we're here. It's all because of your grace that I'm able to preach your word, Lord God. At Lord God, sa mga kakulangan namin, Lord God, you fill in the gaps, Lord God. You be the one to speak today. You be the one, Lord God, to lead your people, Lord God. We're just here, Lord God, to follow your leading in our lives. And Lord God, we ask for your anointing. We ask for your favor. And we ask for your wisdom, Lord God, to be upon us. And we claim the victory and we give you back all the glory and all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody shout, Amen and Amen. So again, let's give God our highest offering of praise. Amen and Amen. So I'm reminded today of what we've talked about a few years back. Parang last year natin ito pinag-usapan. At ito yung word na binigay sa atin ni Lord in Haggai chapter 1 verse 8. It says here, this is just command for us, baka nakalimutan na po natin, it's a refresher for us, is for us to go up into the mountains and bring down timber and build my house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. So, so yan po yung message po sa akin ni Lord while I was preparing for this message. Yan po yung leading niya sa akin on how to lead the church is for us to build my house, says the Lord. At yan po yung pinapagawa niya sa atin is to build a home for God's people. Kasi po marami pong mga tao sa labas na walang home. Marami po sa labas ng, ng church po natin ay hindi nakakakilala sa Panginoon. Hindi po nila na-experience yung love na meron tayo. Hindi po nila na-experience yung wonderful presence na in-experience natin sa ating Panginoon. Are you enjoying God's presence today? Amen? Are you blessed with God's presence? Yes, tayo po nararamdaman po natin yan, pero yung mga tao po sa labas, pwedeng nararamdaman nila, pwedeng hindi. And that's what God is telling us right now, build my house. So that in this house, we could invite the lost here, we could invite the weary here, we could invite the sick here, we could invite the lonely people here, and they may receive the blessing that comes from heaven. Amen po ba dun? And when God, when we do that, sabi ni Lord, I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified. And ang Panginoon na ang magdadagdag ng magdadagdag ng tao sa ating simbahan. Amen po ba dun? Amen. Pwede ba natin palapakan si Lord for that? Siyempre, gusto natin mas lumaki pa ang family natin, mas maraya pa tayong makasama dito, and it's God's work kung paano po yun mangyayari. And what we're gonna do is just save one soul, one family, and one city, and this whole city will be born again. Amen? Amen and amen. So, kaya lang po, yung light po na meron tayo, pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, you are the light. So, yan pong light po na yan, sometimes po, ganito po yung nangyayari sa atin. Parang light bulb po. But, sabi, later on, babasahin ko po yung verse. Sabi doon sa verse, kaya lang minsan po, yung light po na yan ay nilalagay po natin sa ating mga bag. So, yung light po na yan, imbis na wala po siyang boundaries, imbis po na wala pong walls, ano pong... Minsan nagagawa natin, yan po ay tinatago natin sa ating bag. So I remember the time when I was in college. So ako po ay laking Sunday school. Ako po ay laki sa church. At nung pagpasok ko po sa college, ayaw ko po malalaman nila na ako ay Christian. Sino po yung mga ganun? Sino po mga college students dito? So ang, ang ginagawa ko po kasi every night, meron kaming devotion sa church, meron kaming Bible study, meron kaming practice for the praise and worship. So lagi po ako may dalang Bible. Eh ang laki-laki pa naman ng Bible ko nun. So, ang ginagawa ko sa, back, sa backpack po, lagi ko po siyang tinatago sa pinaka-ilalim na ilalim para po hindi po nila makita na ako po ay may dalang Bible kasi nakakahiya eh. Ba't ako may dalang Bible sa school? So, tinatago ko po yun sa pinaka-ilalim ng aking bag para hindi po nila malaman na ako ay Christian, hindi po nila malaman na ako ay anak ng pastor, para po hindi po ako mapahiya, yun po yung feeling ko. So, that's how I hide, how I hide my light. Yung salita po ng Panginoon ay light. Yung buhay ko po ay light. I could shine sa school sana. Kaya lang, tinatago ko po kasi po ako'y nahihiya. So, tinatago po natin in our own bag. At yung light po na yan, hindi na po nagliliwanag. So, kamusta naman po tayo when we turn it to in our families? Kamusta po yung light bulb po natin? Ang light bulb po ba natin ay nandun lang sa ating sariling kwarto? O ito po ay nagliliwanag sa ating mga kapamilya? Kamusta po yung ating light sa office? Ito po ba ay nakatago lang po sa ating drawer? Or ito po ay pinapashine natin sa ating mga boss, sa ating mga schoolmates, or ay sa office mates, at kung sino man nakasama natin sa office. So, dahil po dyan, we, we hide that light, hindi po nagsashine ang light natin, at hindi po nakakakilala yung mga tao sa ating Panginoon. So with regards to that, akala natin that God doesn't want to use us. Feeling natin kasi hindi ako magaling, Feeling natin kasi hindi ako karapat-dapat, but it's us 
who doesn't want to be used by God. Kaya yung amazing work na gusto gawin ng Panginoon, gusto po ba natin yun, that we're, we're gonna be used by the Lord? We, we want to be used by the Lord, pero sometimes tayo po yung nagiging hindrance para po tayo ay maging kagamit-gamit sa Panginoon. Parang okay na ako sa ganito. Okay lang na hindi ko na ma-share yung light sa school kasi maging significant man ako sa school o hindi, it doesn't matter. Maging born again man yung buong pamilya ko, and hindi, okay na, I'm good with my current state kahit di ako mag-share o mag-share, okay lang. Kahit hindi maging born again yung boss ko, yung office mate ko sa work, okay lang. I'm already okay with this. Kaya lang ano po yung sinasabi ng Panginoon in Matthew chapter 5, verse 15. It says here, Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. So yan po yung sinasabi natin kanina. We don't put it inside our backpacks, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. So paliwanagin daw po natin, ilagay daw po natin sa lampstand para ito po ay makita ng mga kasama natin, yung mga katabi natin, mga neighborhood natin na hindi nakakakilala sa Panginoon. Why? Because your light is not meant to be hidden. Pakisabi nga yan sa katabi mo, your light is not meant to be hidden. So yan, ang, ang ilaw daw po natin is ought to be shared. Ang ilaw po natin is ought to be sh- Uh, makita po ng mga tao, dapat daw po nagsashine yung ating liwanag. Amen po ba doon? Amen. And ako rin bilang head po ng ating simbahan dito, you know what, it's very tempting to be contented with our current state. Okay na to. Minsan, nahihit po natin ng 200 attendance, okay na yan. Pwede na tayo magsettle dito. Tayo po ay, ang praise and worship team po natin, we're very blessed na hinihiram po natin lagi yung ating praise and worship team. So, nandito po yung Church of God Las Piñas, andito rin po ang Church of God Las Marinas para tulungan po tayo sa worship team natin every Sunday. So, maraming salamat po sa kanila. And ako po, pwede na po ako makontent na okay na yun. Huwag na tayong bumuo ng sarili nating worship team. Umasa na lang po tayo sa ibang churches na papahiram na nila sa atin. I could be contented with that. Okay na tayo. Set, let's settle down with this. Kaya lang po, God's leading talaga is to do more for Him. Amen po ba dun? We don't want to be contented with our current state. Why? Because there's a city to save. Amen po ba dyan? Familiar po ba kayo dyan? So pag nakita po natin yung Kalabaw, yan po ang Newport City. This is our complex here. I could be contented. We could be contented just, just doing this and that, being here, just here. Pero there's a city to save. There are so many lost people out there who needs Jesus Christ. And tayo po yun. We are the light in this city. And it starts with our own family. Sa mga workers po na nandito, nagsisimula yan, tayo maging light sa sarili nating pamilya. And this church, it starts with this very church. We are one family, amen? We are one house, we are one COG. And nagsisimula po yan sa loob ng ating simbahan kung paano po tayo magiging light sa labas po at sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Amen. So will you be the light of the world? Amen and amen. Kasi yan po ang salita ng Panginoon sa ating ngayon. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 14, it says here, You are the light of the world. Pakisabi mo rin yan sa katabi mo. You are the light of the world. So, hindi po pala tayo dapat nasa basket. Hindi po pala tayo dapat nasa bag. Bakit? This is our identity. This is who we are. This is our, this is God's plan for us. You are the light of the world. At pag nagliwanag pala talaga yung ating buhay, may mga tao, may mga pamilya na maliligtas all for the glory of God. Amen? Amen and amen. Sige po, palakpangan po natin ating Panginoon. And with regards to that, ito rin po ay natanong ko, how do we build God's home? Kasi God is telling us, uh, son, pastor, bro, sister, Let's build build my house, sabi ng Panginoon. Build my house. Kaya lang, Lord, sabi ko, paano ba? How do we build your house? And praise God po, when I read Ezra, nandun pala yung, yung, yung step by step kung paano natin i-build yung house. So ito po yung magiging timeline natin, ito po yung magiging direction ng ating simbahan for you to know para po masabayan po natin kung saan po papunta ang ating simbahan. So how do we build God's home? Number one, we start with the blueprint of worship. So are we blessed with our worship kanina? Amen. At how much more na tayo ang mabiblessed pag meron na tayong sariling worship team? Amen? Sino pong excited for our very own worship team? Amen. Sige, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Kaya pakisabi mo sa katabi mo, mag-join ka na. 
Ayan, so excited pala tayo. Di mag-join na tayo sa ating praise and worship team. So for the next months to come, probably from this month to September, yan po ang ating tututukan. We're gonna talk all about worship and building our own praise and worship team. Kasi po dyan po talaga nagsisimula yung pagkilos ng Panginoon, sabi sa Ezra chapter 3. It starts with our very own personal worship unto the Lord. At saan po susunod yan? We're gonna set up our foundation of outreach. So tayo po, ang heart po kasi natin is to go out and save the lost. So next time, yan po ang pag-uusapan natin, saving the lost outside there. And number three is for us to set up that structure of relationship. So later on po, i-establish na po natin yung mga youth natin. Sino po yung mga youth dito? So marami po mga youth. Yung totoong youth po ah. Ayan. So yan po yung mga youth po natin. Establish po natin yung mga men's and ladies natin para magkaroon ng structure yung ating simbahan. Our structure is relationship. And number four is the design of discipleship. So in the next months to come, probably next year, sa setup na po natin yung ating mga discipleship. So sino po dito ang nakagamit na ng C2S? So wala pang nakakagamit ng C2S. So onti pa lang gumagamit ng ating discipleship material, manual. In the next months to come, yan po ang ating ayusin. So that later on, we may beautify the house of the Lord. Excited po ba tayo dyan? So we're very blessed dahil binigyan tayo ng step-by-step ng Panginoon. At tayo po ay nandito po sa blueprint of worship ngayon. At yan po ang pag-uusapan natin for the next months to come. Are you excited? Yeah. Amen. Sa lahat po na excited, sumigaw ng hallelujah. Sa lahat na excited po malakpak para sa ating Panginoon. Amen. I'm also excited for our church. And God will bring us to places po sa mga ginagawa po natin dito. Why? Kasi in, in the next verse it says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Kapag tayo po were a city on a hill, we are a church on a hill. At tayo po bilang church, we are sending the light. Ito pong light na to ay magbibigay liwanag po sa iba pang mga tao sa mundo. And when we get to be established, hindi po tayo itatago talaga. Wala pong magagawa yung kaaway para pabagsakin tayo. Amen? Wala pong magagawa yung kaaway para patumbahin tayo. We are a city on a hill. Ganito, itsura po ng city on a hill. So wala pong magagawa ang kaaway. Pag tayo ay na-establish, pag tayo ay na-set up dyan, tayo po talaga ay magliliwanag in this whole city. Because in this whole city, meron po mga houses dyan na hindi nakikilala ang Panginoon. Meron po mga houses dyan that they have no hope. They don't have this love that we have. They don't experience God's presence. But when God establishes this city on a hill, this church on a hill, when God establishes this church in the city, it will give light to other houses in our neighborhood. It will give light to other homes, other families in our city. Amen? Amen. Sige nga po, palakpakan po natin na ating Panginoon. So it's gonna be a natural effect. It will naturally touch lives all for the glory of God. Amen po ba dun? Amen and amen. Why? Kaya dahil po dyan, we all have a part in building God's house. So pakitanong nga yung katabi mo, excited ka ba talaga? So dahil excited talaga yung katabi mo, ang, ang good news po dito, kahit anong talent mo, pwedeng pwede ka. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, pwede ka pala eh. So kahit anong talent mo, kahit ang talent mo lang ay ngumiti. Pakingitian nga yung katabi mo. So sa pagngiti po natin, pasok na yan, approved na yan, pwede tayong mag-usher next Sunday. Amen po ba dun? Amen. So any skill, any talent, you are all welcome to be part of God's house. Amen po ba dun? Pwede ba natin palakpakan si Lord doon? Amen. Bakit po kasi hindi po nagahanap si Lord ng magaling, hindi po sila nagahanap si Lord ng matalino. Just who you are is more than enough para magamit ng ating Panginoon. Amen? Amen and amen. And you are a natural light of this world. Kaya po, later on po, I have a challenge for this church kasi po may communion tayo mamaya. Ang challenge po natin mamaya is later on after the service, first Gusto po natin i-gather yung mga current volunteers na nandito na po sa simbahan. So dito po tayo sa harap, may mga leaders po tayo na magsiset up po dito sa harapan. And we would like to invite the current volunteers. Sama-sama po dito, ay dito yung mga gusto sumali ng worship, yung mga kabataan po natin na nandito, sama-sama tayo, mga ladies, mga men's. Let's all gather around here, yung mga current volunteers na. At later on po, pangalawa, yung mga interested to join. Bakit tanong nga yung katabi mo, interested ka ba? So sana interested siya, no? So yung mga interested din mag-join, you could remain after the service. 
At gusto namin kayong ma-meet din dito sa harapan para makuha namin yung yung name and contact number. And next week, tayo na po ay magsaserve. Amen po ba doon? Sa lahat po ng excited, pumalakpak nga po din para sa Panginoon. Amen. So everyone is excited and I'm also excited and that's our encouragement. That's a challenge for us by the Lord today. It's, say, say mo sa katabi mo, it's your time. So matagal na natin inaantay to be part of the ministry. Tagal na po natin pinagpapraisan. Kaya ako gagamitin ni Lord. And now is your time to be part because everybody, we are all, we could all be part of building God's house. And I remember kasi the time nung ako po ay nagsastart po magluto. Sino po marunong magluto dito? So ang dahil po marunong magluto. At ito po yung niluto ko po dati. So sinong favorite yan? Sa totoo lang po, yan lang po yung alam kong lutuin. So, yan lang po alam ko lutuin, just eggs lang po. At nung mga first time ko po magluto, so niluto ko yung egg, so nagtanong po ako sa mom ko, bakit ko walang lasa? So, yun pala, nakalimutan ko na kailangan pala lagyan ng salt para po magkalasa yung egg na yan. So, nakatikim na po ba ng egg na walang lasa? So, medyo hindi po masarap yung lasa niya kasi nga wala pong salt. Kasi po, ang, ang, ang ulam pala, ang pagkain, kailangan pala ng salt. So, kahit ganito kasarap po yung pagkain, So, sino po yung nag-breakfast na? Sino pong excited sa ganito? So, mamaya po, uh, pwede po kami punta sa Marriott Cafe. Tapos, paki-charge lang kay John Ray. Si John Ray na po bahala magbayad ng steak niya sa Marriott Cafe. So, kahit gaano pa appealing yung steak or kung ano mang pagkain natin, kung walang salt, hindi rin yan sasarap. Because the salt enhances the flavor of the food. And ang good news po niyan, sabi po sa salita ng Panginoon, you are the salt of the earth. Pakisabi sa katabi mo yan, you are the salt of the earth. So, ang buhay po pala natin ay may purpose. Ang buhay po pala natin ay may meaning. We play a vital role pala in this world, in this earth. Earth, You have a role. And ang buhay mo, because you are the salt of the earth, you make a difference. You make a difference in this earth at ikaw pala ang magpapaganda Ng mundo, ng mundo na ito kapag ikaw ay nagpagamit sa Panginoon. Amen po ba doon? Amen and amen. And in verse 13, it says here, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then not good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. So, ang salt po pala, kapag nawala po yung saltiness ng salt, kaya pa bang ibalik yun? Yung salt po na yan, kapag nawala na po ang kanyang saltiness, it's impossible to bring back its saltiness. So kung ano mang dahilan nun, check nyo po yung chemistry nyo, siya po makakasagot nun. Basta ang alam ko, impossible na maibalik ang saltiness ng salt. So ganun, po, ganun din po sa ating buhay. Alam niyo po, pag hindi po tayo naging salt of the earth today, if we miss our season to be salt today, hindi na po natin mababalik yan. We could not bring back time na maging salt yesterday. Tapos na po yung araw eh. So pag tayo po ay hindi na naman naging salt ng mundo bukas, mamimiss na naman po natin yun at hindi na naman po natin mababalikan. If we miss to be the salt of the earth for the rest of this year, for the remaining six months of this year, wala na naman. Masasayang na naman natin ang opportunity po natin na maging salt ng mundo. At ang sabi po sa ating salita, mabuti na lang itapon tayo. Mabuti na lang na ibato tayo sa kalsada at trampled down by men. Tapak-tapakan na lang po. Kasi we miss our season. We miss our purpose. Nakakalimutan natin ng ating identity that we are the salt of the earth. Papayag po ba tayo dun? Parang pumayag lahat ha. Papayag po ba tayo dun that we miss our season? No, di ba? We don't want to miss our season. We don't want to miss our purpose of not being the salt of the earth. Why? Kasi may, may mission ng Panginoon para sa atin. May pinapagawa ang Panginoon sa atin. At hindi pa naliligtas ang maraming tao sa labas ng simbahan natin. At may nakita po akong video to encourage us, is it now the time to stop being the salt of the earth? Or is it our time to fill out, fulfill our purpose to being the salt of the earth? So let's watch this video, please.
So yan po ang nangyayari po outside our walls, outside our churches. This is the real thing that's happening in our nation. And in this city, lahat po ng mga nangyayari doon ay nangyayari din po in our very own city. That's why God is encouraging each one of us right now to fulfill our purpose. And God is telling you, God is telling me, God is telling this whole church, you are the salt and light of this world. And when we take part of that, I believe mababago po ang ating bansa. Amen po ba dun? Amen. And God, I would like to bring you back here in sending the light. That's what we're telling ourselves right now. Send the light, send the light. But the thing is, you are the light. You are the light of the world. You could be that light in your family. And this light, you are energy. You give hope to your family. You give peace to your family. God could use you to give that love out to them. At ang nakakatawa po dun, your light travels rapidly. Bakit po? Kasi pag sinamahan po tayo ng Panginoon, wala pong imposible para sa Kanya. Amen? Kayang-kaya niya po tayo gamitin to the max. And we have no boundaries. You have no boundaries. You have no walls. You have no limits in doing God's will. Because if God is with you, who can be against you? Amen? Ito po yung pinag-uusapan po natin is building that home for God's people. And that building God's home starts with your own family, starts with your own home, starts with our own city, starts with our own church, saving one soul, one family, and one city. That's the message of God today for us to be part of this, to be part of the movement that God is leading us to. Why? Because this church is not a monument. Amen po ba dun? This church is not just here for display. This church is not just here to, to share a topic of the day. This church is a movement to save souls outside there and bring them in the house of the Lord. And later on, as we prepare for our communion and the praise and worship team comes up here on stage, as we prepare for the communion, this is, our, this is a, a remembrance of what Jesus Christ did to us. That Jesus Christ died on the cross to save you and to save me. Kaya lang kapag ito pong salvation po na nakuha natin, ay hindi po natin isi-share. Hindi po natin isi-send yung light na ito. Hindi po natin isi Hindi po tayo magsashine sa pamilya natin, sa school natin, sa office natin, or sa mismong simbahan po natin. Sayang po. Sayang po yung pagkamatay ni Jesus Christ. Kung hindi lang po natin siya share. There's power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen? There's power in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's why we're all here. And later on, as you prepare for the communion, this is our commitment to Him. That Lord, yes Lord, it's my time to be part of building your house. Yes Lord, this is my commitment as I take part of this communion. This is my commitment to you. I want to be part. You're not looking for a skilled person. You're not looking for just a talented person. You're just looking for me. Who I am right now could be mightily used by the Lord. So later, after the service, after the communion, if that's you, for the new people who wants to be part of the ministry, we invite you to come here in front later. And we want to talk to you. I want to welcome you in building God's house. So I would like to invite the leaders of the church. And let's all bow their heads as we prepare for our communion. Thank you.
And this church is empowered by the Lord. God is with us. And this church will not be contented with not saving the lost out there. Well, we're going to be contented with just this. It's better for us to close down this church if we're not going to serve our purpose, if we're not going to be the light, salt and light of this city. And with regards to that, God is reminding us, my son died for you and for me. Jesus Christ died for us, for us to fulfill our purpose and just share that love, share this experience that we have right now being born again, having this relationship with the Lord today. In the same way it says here in God's word, for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body, this is broken for you, do this in remembrance of me. Let's all partake of the bread. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for enduring all the pain, Lord God, because you love us so much. Lord God, those things, Lord God, hindi namin mapapantayin yun, all those pain, Lord God. But Lord God, we just ask, Lord God, for you to give us the courage, Lord God, to share your word, to share what you've done, to share the experience that we have right now, that many may be saved through you, Lord Jesus. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Let's all drink of the cup. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We invite your presence, Lord God, to be in this place, to be in our hearts, to be in this home, to be in this family, Lord. Lord God, thank you for dying on the cross. And with that power, Lord God, with your resurrection, we are saved. We are here. We're alive, Lord God, and able to do your will. And Lord God, we ask for you, Lord God, to let us fulfill your calling for our lives, your mission, to shine the light to all men that they may see your good works, Lord God, and you may be glorified through our lives, Lord God. Lord God, stir in, up in our hearts, in their hearts right now, Lord God, to serve you because it's the most fulfilling moment, Lord God, most satisfying moment that we could ever have to be in your presence, to be, to be where you are, Lord God. And here we are, Lord, saying, Lord, here we are. Use us, Lord. Use us. I may not be that good, Lord God. I may not be that skillful. But here's my heart. Here's my life. I want to be used by you. Hallelujah. I could raise up our tithes and offering to the Lord as an act of our worship to Him. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, thank you for blessing us, Lord God. All these blessings are coming from you. And Lord God, though we do foolish stuff, Lord, though Lord God, we have all our iniquities, Lord God, marami kaming pagkukulang sa'yo, Lord God, marami kaming hindi sinusunod sa'yo. In spite of all those things, you still bless us. How wonderful, how gracious you are, how merciful a God you are. Okay, right now, Lord God, as we've received your word, Lord God, Pwede naman namin ibalik to sa'yo. As we serve you, as we minister, as we let you use us, as we take part of building your house, Lord. Lord God, this is our act of worship. And may you be glorified in everything that we do. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for this wonderful day. Lord God, thank you for your wonderful word. This is not my word. This is your word to each and every one of us right now. And Lord God, you're leading this church, Lord God, to things that we've never imagined, we've never dreamed of, Lord God. You're going to allow us to go beyond, Lord God, the ordinary, Lord God, and we're going to save more souls, all for greater glory. Lord God, itama mo yung lang aming puso, Lord God, allow our hearts to be aligned to you 
and only you be glorified in our lives. Lord God, thank you for the victory and we just give you back all the glory and all the praise in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless everyone. See you all next week.